Hi, my name is Dr. Darren Schmidt at the Nutritional Healing Center of Ann Arbor. This video is about liberty and healthcare, and I'm making this video because there's changes going on with our healthcare system right now in the United States, and there will always be changes. So for decades and centuries in the future, there will always be changes, but there's one stable point, and that's you and your choices and your education regarding your own body and your own health. So uh, liberty means uh, freedom, basically, and it comes from the word liber, and the word liber also brings us the word library, liberal arts, uh, libertarian. And it, the liber means inner bark. So a long time ago, there were people that um, took the bark off of a tree, turned it around, and they made impressions and uh, recorded stuff on the bark. So they recorded documents, um, contracts, they recorded transactions. And these people who were liber, they actually also influenced others. Now this is different than being literate. Somebody who's literate can read and understand, um, but they're not influencing other people. So you could read romance novels for a year and not have influenced anybody. Okay, so now um, the whole point of looking up the, word, the origin of a word is to get full conceptual understanding of that word. And that is part of being a uh, liber. So it means using a dictionary, knowing the definition, and then looking up the origins of the word. Okay, so doing this, I just gave you the example of how to be liber by looking up liberty and knowing its origins. Okay, next. So we have um, three unalienable rights. What this word means is, uh, lean means um, it's something that is done to uh, procure payment, for example. So let me give you this example. So you have your car at the mechanic shop. He fixes your car, and then uh, you refuse to pay the money to get your car back. He puts a lien on your car, that's a document, and the documents, the lien says, once he receives your payment, then he'll release the car. So your rights are unalienable. Okay, now this word here, I don't know if anybody knows what that really means, and usually they say inalienable or something like that. Okay, but you have the freedom of speech, for example, that's a right, and, and nobody can like steal, hold onto your car and say, stop talking. When you stop talking, then you get your car back. See, that's, that's, that doesn't happen because that right is, of speech is unalienable. Now, there's three basic rights. Basic rights. There are more than that. The Bill of Rights says there's ten. And uh, there's multiple within those ten. One of those ten says that there's more than the ten. Okay, but there's three basics. Life, liberty, and property. So, <clears throat> now life means that you have the right to be alive. And uh, property is, imp is important as a right because property does two things. Number one, it keeps you alive. And number two, it keeps you happy. So now your body is part of your property. It's life and it's your property. So your body is very important and it's uh, encompassed in two out of the three basic rights. So nobody can force a vaccine on you because you're in charge of your body. It's your property. Um, nobody can like force, force medicate you because it's your property. Okay, so um, now when Thomas Jefferson wrote Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Happiness, he meant to say property in the 1700s. Everybody knew that the pursuit of happiness was the same as property. Okay, so your body is your property. It's your right to have it, and you do what you want with it. Okay, liberty and responsibility go together. So you have freedom of speech, but you can't say stupid things that piss people off and slander and all that stuff. Um, they go together. Responsibility means um, you are liable for what you say. Somebody can call you out on something and you have to answer. You have to respond. So if you steal something and somebody says, you stole that, being responsible says you're responding back, say yes or no, I, I, I did or did not steal it. But you have to respond. Okay. So, now, in order to have um, good responsibility for your health, you have to have knowledge. So increase your knowledge to increase your responsibility and your control. So if your health is out of control, then get more knowledge on the subject, increase your responsibility, and fix your health. Okay, and then as you fix your health and you get smarter about the subject, help your kids, help uh, family members, help your friends, Influence others. Be liber. And the smarter you are about the subject, the more you can help, the more responsibility you get. Okay, 
Many decisions are made elsewhere by others for you. So in Washington, D.C. or your state capital, or at the building where insurance is, uh, is, uh, where the insurance workers are working, they're going to make decisions on your behalf, and you may, you may not be involved in those conversations or those discussions. Okay, but I wrote this down because it's important to continue to communicate. Don't get all pissed off and uh, stop communicating and think everybody's out to get you or everybody's, you know, a jerk. Just keep communicating, even though they're elsewhere. And you may not even know who they, who you, you may not even know who they are, but you got to find out um, who to communicate to and communicate to them. Now, the last statement is buy good foods and supplements now or pay insurmountable medical expenses later. So, um, medicine is the number one cause of bankruptcy in the United States, even back in 2008 and 2009 during the housing crisis. So, it's simple to buy good food and good supplements and do, you know, and exercise. The, the very simple things so that you don't have insurmountable medical expenses later. So I just felt like I wanted to go through this because now you have some information on your overall like health scenario and I hope that this gives you some um, inspiration to continue moving forward and researching and learning and taking action on your own behalf. And yeah, people are going to make decisions regarding your own your health care, etc. Yeah, just keep communicating and keep learning. Now, I'm not going to have comments available on this video. But you can give me a thumbs up if you like it. Give me a thumbs down if you don't like it. Um, and please don't ask me any questions on politics. Um, I want to stick with uh, health, um, you know, clinical stuff as much as possible. But I just wanted to put this up here because these are my thoughts and I want to share my thoughts with you.